Hey guys, it's me, Toll. Is there any way you guys can help me right now? I'm kind of lost in this rainforest, and to be honest, ever since that last video I made about cartoons and CapCut, I've been having this really weird feeling like someone is watching me. Let me take a break over here. By this tree real quick, I really need to catch my breath. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't keep running at this pace. I gotta catch up to tell this is crucial for my success. I knew I wasn't crazy. Someone really is out here following me. Let's listen and see if we can hear what he's saying. Nobody will ever know I stole every bit of it from Tull. Wait a minute, Trevor. Trevor, is that you? I know I mean, yeah, hey, Tull. Funny running into you out here. What are you doing in the rainforest? Well, normally when I'm looking for inspiration for a new video, I go out in nature. That's when I come up with my best ideas. What do you do when you want to come up with a new video idea? Well, normally I just watch other people's videos and then just copy their videos word for word. You gotta be joking me. No, serious as a heart attack. What's wrong with you? Why can't you think for yourself? Oh my god, never mind, kid. Anyways, thanks for the inspiration on the new video. Wait, Trevor, it's not called inspiration when you're just stealing my entire video. I gotta run, kid. Get back here, you thief. Sorry, can't hear you, kid. You better start thinking for yourself, Trevor. You hear me, old man. Think for yourself. Welcome back to part two of making animated cartoons in CapCut. I'm gonna show you guys how to do every single thing step by step completely for free. But first, a message from our sponsors. Real quick, guys, I just wanna give a big thanks to APOB AI for sponsoring this video. APOB is a personalized tool that can create users' own exclusive AI model for free. To start, you could either upload a picture to use as a reference model, or you can use APOB's influencer generator, where you can build your own AI model from head to toe, even adding things like dimples and a suntan. So you can really bring your AI model to life. Now once you create your character, click on build your own where you can create the entire scene by choosing the art style, the setting, and the scenery. And then pick the age range and clothing style of your model and you'll get four different pictures of your model in the exact scenario that you just created. Try the complete set tab if you want some pre-made templates to place your model into, or if you need a more custom scene, click expert and you could type in your own prompt to create a specific look for your model if that's not cool enough they also have a video face swap tool an image face swap as well as an image to video and talking avatar feature this is the easiest way to make it look like you've been to every city across the world apob ai is the easiest way to create ai models place them in whichever scenario you want and then bring them to life with their user-friendly platform or if you just want to step up your social media game you can make it look like you travel the world without ever leaving your house so make sure you click on my exclusive link in the video description to sign up and use my code for a 15 percent discount now let's get back to the video first things first you're going to need a script for your cartoon so either you could sit there and write it out yourself or you could just come on something like chat gpt or i'm using claude ai and put in a prompt just like this one i'll put it in the description so you guys can use it and once you enter in your prompt then it's just going to write you out a whole scene and a whole character dialogue between your two characters and you could just literally copy this and enter it into our text-to-speech tool that we're going to use completely for free now when you're here in cap cut you're going to click on this button right here that says text and then just add in some default text click on the text box come over here to the right hand side and we're just going to go ahead and paste in that script that we just got from claude ai so once you add in your text right here you can come up to the tab that says text to speech and once you click on that you'll see all the ai voiceovers that they have that you're able to use any of these voices right here that are not marked pro you can use completely for free so that's how we can get free ai voiceovers and and if you just click on the voice and click start reading and you can use any of these voices completely for free now we're gonna have to add in the second character so when you go into the add the second character for the next bit of dialogue you're just gonna come up here and click on default text again so we're gonna add a new text box and now we can add our second characters all right so now that we have our voiceover we're gonna just close out cap cut and we can move on to the next step which is gonna be animating a character now don't worry guys I'm gonna make Make sure i leave the links for every website that i use in the description so you can follow along with this video 
now as far as the characters go you have to pick from one of these characters that's over here on the right hand side but as you can see adobe has a lot of preloaded characters for us to choose from for my cartoon that i've been making i've been using this character tall right here you're going to click on that character and you're also going to change the background to green so click on custom color and just make sure you select a green color that way instead of using these images right here that are just pictures we're going to add in an animated background as well so it's going to make our cartoon look really good and now what you're going to do is go ahead and upload the dialogue now the next part is really important so i want you guys to pay attention just use the scroller on your video and get your character to a point where their arms and their legs are separated you want it to be separated out like that so now all you want to do is take a screenshot once your character's arms and legs are separated that's perfect i'll take that screenshot right there and now that i have a screenshot of my character with his arms and legs separated i'll just go ahead and save that and now we're going to move on to the next step and this is how i was able to get tall to be able to run and jump and walk throughout the video so this is another free ai tool it's by meta and this is going to be able to animate your character even further than it is already click on upload photo right here and i'll bring in my character click on next you want to move this box a little bit closer but make sure that your character is completely in the frame click on next now as you can see if it hasn't selected the character perfectly you can use this eraser tool right here and you could just go through and clean up your image a little bit now that I have only my character selected and highlighted I'm just gonna click on next and it's gonna give you these points and as you can see when you click on the point it'll tell you where you need to put it so this one is for the right eyeball so just make sure that you move these dots to where they need to be these it for the elbows and now once you do that you're going to click on next and you're going to have all these different animations that you can choose okay guys now once you find the animations that you want to use within your video click on this button right here where it says like where it looks like a full screen button you click on that and then you can click on the three dots in the lower right hand corner and you'll see a button for downloading so go ahead and download your video now the next step to this method is we're going to come over to CapCut and they have a background remover tool click on up Upload. click on this background tab right here and we're going to add in that green background for our video add your green background in like that and let me just close that out okay so now once you add in your green background you're just going to go ahead and click on export right here and you're going to export your video okay guys now that we have our lip synced character we also have animated versions of him we're going to come over to VecTZ again I showed you guys this in the part one video for me I just typed in animated forest background and you can come Come over here to where it says license type and make sure you click on free license that way the only videos that are going to pop up are going to be ones completely free for you to use make sure you add in vectz to your description so you give them credit so you could go ahead and download any of these backgrounds and this is going to make our cartoon look so much better as you can see you see the trees moving some of these have birds moving so i'll just go ahead and download a couple of these and i'll meet you over there in CapCut. all right guys now that we're here in CapCut, i'm going to show you how to put everything together so first we can start by adding our animated background to the timeline and now that we have our animated background we can go ahead and add in our character over top of this scene and of course if you want to remove the background since we added in that green background this is why we did that we come up to this remove background tab click on chroma key and then click on that green color and now you have that background removed so now he can fit into place on our animated background so now we can place him back here or just place him somewhere that it looks natural hey guys it's me toll is there any way you guys could help me right now I'm kind of locked. And now let me also show you one more thing. I'm going to remove him from here right now. And I'm just going to show you how to add in that animated version of him. So I'll bring this animated version in. And I'm going to come up here to the remove background tab again. And I'm going to click on chroma key. And I'm going to click on that green color. Now let's drag this over so that it's on top of our animated background. And you can see that he's going to be walking. And now let's scale him down a little bit. So he's off in the distance. And now if we play, you'll see how he's animated. 